I am alive. Yes, it's working everywhere. Okay, today we're going to talk about if you are thinking about acting, so you're not an actor yet, and you're wondering whether you need technique to start. Um, so that's a very common question because you're starting to act and you want to do it right. You want to do it well. You want to learn from people who have been around the block. So you may be thinking, okay, if I need to act, I can't just jump in there like that. I'm going to need to take a technique class to see how am I supposed to act. And so you might be tempted to look around, find the best technique class, ask around what people have felt, what people have liked, not liked, what works best, what has the most you know, authority or history. And you may have tried a couple techniques in order for you to become an actor right and so you may have after that started auditioning and then you may have found yourself actually not really feeling fulfilled or feeling some sort of terror or panic or pain when you're acting and so you're wondering well what what what's the deal i did study i did apply the technique so why am i feeling so shrunk why am i feeling so not expansive, not open, and actually not fulfilled when I'm acting, which is a legitimate question. And so what you may have tried before is you may have tried other techniques or a better technique or a better teacher. And and so the way that this usually goes is that there's a, a lot of techniques out there, right? A lot of methods, techniques, a lot of teachers. And you may have spent a lot of time, a lot of resources, a lot of money really cruising around and trying different techniques in order to feel actually fulfilled, um, satisfied, and really free when you're acting, only to realize camera says action or you're taping for an audition or going to an audition and actually you feel the tension inside, the fear, the blocks. And so you might be wondering why is it that... Um, I've kind of looked at some technique or a lot of them and I'm still feeling this way. Is there something wrong with me? And so today we're going to be talking about um, what it actually takes to be an actor, maybe even what is acting in the first place, right? And so acting is the art of being fully alive, being fully 100% present in the moment in your unique way. So acting does not mean to be confident. Acting does not mean to look good. Acting does not mean um, to be capable of feeling strong or powerful or happy. Acting means your capacity to be fully, uniquely you in the moment, fully alive, fully open. And from there, you're taking on a character's story, right? So, but for that, you first need to be fully alive, open, and present. Actually, you can transfer that to any art. If you take singing, dancing, painting, whichever art it is, it's really not about your skill to do it right. It's always going to be for it to be art, for it to be a masterpiece. It's always going to be about what is the artist's perception beyond their skills how are they capable to show up in their unique way to paint this apple, to dance this choreography, to sing this song? What makes art art is not what you do, but it's your capacity to actually be so present, so aligned, so into your unique zone that art is inevitable. It's not something that you do. So considering that art is not something that you do, thinking that you need a technique to be able to act is kind of conflictive, right? The reason why you may think that you need a technique to act is because everything that you've been going through since school has been, hey, if I want to learn something or if I need to evolve, I need to look to a higher authority. That's how our society works. You're told from your youngest age to feel a certain way, you're not allowed to feel your own feelings. Your parents will tell you to stop crying, to stop being angry, to stop being scared, to stop being too loud when you're excited. So that's already the first authority that comes onto you and says, hey, if you want to stay safe and loved, you need to feel like we're telling you to feel. And then you go to school and what you're hearing there is, hey, you can't really do what you want or move around and chat with your friends. You have to sit down 
do what you're told, learn what you're told. And me, the teacher, the authority, I am going to tell you what you learn and how you learn it. And then I am going to test whether you learn it or not. Right? So none of this has anything to do with what's needed in art, which is you're not art. In, in art, you're, you're needing to bring your own perception. You're needing to bring your unique point of view, perception, sensitivity to what the discipline that you're involved with. And the way we've been raised is, no, no, you shut up, listen to the bigger guys, the authorities, and let them tell you how it's done. So art is the opposite of traditional education. But no wonder that when you start acting, you may be looking for a technique because everything that you have learned in your life has come from an external authority. So inevitably you're coming to acting in your new and you'll think, okay, well, I need to find the external authority to tell me how to do. But if acting is the art of being fully alive in your unique way, no one from an external authority can teach you how you can be uniquely you because only you can do that, right? So instead of technique, which you might be considering when you're starting to act, but I wanna to talk to the actors who are already actors, might be struggling and think they need a new technique or another technique or a better technique to feel better when they are acting, to book more and to actually impact an audience more, it's not gonna come from a technique. The more you're gonna hang on to a technique, the more you're disconnected from your unique self, right? Your unique self is right here. The more I'm gonna learn from something out there, the more I am leaving myself. If you're leaving yourself, you're disconnected from yourself, you're no longer uniquely you. You're trying to look good, you're trying to please, you're trying to be someone else, you're trying to be better, you're trying to improve. You're trying what other people are telling you to try and you're trying to please them. And there's no satisfaction there. It's about pleasing you. It's about being you all the time and offering that to the project that you've been selected to work on or that you're invited to work on in an audition, right? So if you look at kids, for example, kids are the best actors in the world and they've never ever taken a workshop or a technique. If you look at kids who are not actors, but who are playing, acting all day long with their little trucks and toys and Barbies, and I'm saying all the cliches with their Play-Doh, they're playing characters. They're never for one split second thinking, how should I do this? What's the technique for me to be this dog in the right way? And what's the technique for me to be this sad person the right way. They're just diving into it because they're still open, they're not conditioned, they haven't been told a lot yet how to behave, and so they're still able to move from a place of freedom. So what you need when you're starting to act or when you're actually an established actor and you're feeling like you're missing that joy and that ease and that effortlessness in being you is not a new technique that will take you away, further away from you, that will disconnect you more, but it's actually coming back to you, coming back to who you were in your purest form. When you were born, you were at your purest, most innocent, most playful, most alive, most you, most unique self. So that's what you always have to aim back to go to because that is the purest form of you. When you're there, if you can go back to that childlike freedom and authenticity that you had when you started in this world, then you would be able to embody any character and any circumstances without any effort because you would just be interested by the joy of diving in, the joy of experimenting, playing it. Playing means you don't know what's gonna happen. We play and we don't know who's going to win or lose. We play to be in that moment. When you have a technique, you're bypassing all of that and you're trying to book. You're trying to focus on the outcome. You're trying to be good. You're trying to be right. And so a technique is meant to bypass all the steps of presence and freedom, of true aliveness. By definition, a technique gets you to the end. It's a, a way, a method, a path, a recipe to get somewhere. 
And so it imposes steps that are not yours. So when you hang on to a technique, you abandon yourself. When you abandon yourself, you have nothing to act with. You're going to rely on stale theories, things that other people do. And you'll think that this would be better than what you would intuitively, instinctively, freely, authentically come up with in the moment. You're going to try and do it right. You're not going to try and be you. You're not going to just be there in the moment and taste the deliciousness of embodying a character, right? So um, to the question, do you need technique when you start acting? Absolutely not. You can also Google all the A-list actors, um, celebrity actors who have never been to an acting class and you'll be surprised how many of the biggest ones have never actually taken an acting class. Again, art is never going to be about a recipe, about doing something right. It's about doing something your way and then art happens. But for that, you have to be able to connect with you. And since you've been disconnected all your life by being asked to behave a certain way, to feel a certain way, to think a certain way, to move a certain way, to learn a certain way, well, you're very disconnected from you, right? So the opportunity is not to look for a technique, but actually to look for a way to go back to that pure self that you were when you came to this world, because that's where your gifts are. That's what you have to offer. That's from that place you can make art, right? So if this makes sense, and if you're interested in doing that work, you can let us know, you can send us a DM, and we can send you some more information actually on the work that we do with actors in our reset journey so that you can reset to who you were as a child. Um, all right, you guys, well, thank you for um, being here with me and um, considering not using any technique to be fully alive, but just being you and actually undoing what is in the way of that, all the learned behaviors that you've um, taken on along the way. And again, yes, if you have any questions, let us know. If you would like a free training in the link in the bio in the about section on Facebook, you can grab a free training. It's called Stop Trying to Be a Good Actor so that you have a chance of being great. Oh my God, there's some... Uh, some thunder uh, in Los Angeles. Um, so you can start with that. And if you want more information, if you're feeling like, oh, this is absolutely the work I've been wanting to do, I want to get back to my truth, to my authenticity and my freedom, then let us know, send us a DM um, so that we can help you out. All right. Thank you guys. Have a good week and I'll see you on Wednesday for a yummy interview. Bye.